All right, guys, uh, all ready to go uh, to the pagoda and see Buddha. And ready, Linda? Yeah, all ready. Let's go, guys. Go to Buddha with me. Let's go. The great things I love about living in Cambodia with a Buddhist wife is being Catholic, I'm able to enjoy my faith and she's able to enjoy hers. So let's go inside and get a behind the scenes look and see exactly what goes on. Uh, this is a big holiday right now, Cuban holiday, and when you guys come to any pagoda, you will be welcome no matter what your faith. I've been fortunate enough to travel a lot. My friends in Pakistan, going to the mosque to visit with them. Um, I've had a chance to visit all kinds of faiths in my, in my travels and um, I'm really honored to be able to be invited into the Buddhist temple today and we'll give you guys a behind the scenes. Let's see what goes on outside the temple real quick before we walk in. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, there's a lot of food vendors. There's no shortage of food. Friendly people. Let's go walk around and see what we got. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, the, the food, you can smell all the barbecue, uh, the cooking, I love it. Uh, that's one thing about Cambodia is the food is just incredibly amazing. Let's go see if we can't find Linda here. I think she went to get some water for the monk. Uh, in Cambodia, the monks are all largely supported by the people. So when you go to the temple, usually it's, it's, it's uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning they eat and you bring them food. Uh, you usually cook something in advance and then you bring the water and some basics and that's how they survive. So let's go inside guys and take a look. What are we doing here now? Keep an uh, food for an uh, and the monk and the whole. What it is, you give the monks the food and then uh, helps them to eat, as we were talking about earlier in the video. Let's see how this works. Uh -huh. As you guys can see, there's a lot of monks here and uh, they're all very hungry. So yeah, it's a great day here in Cambodia. Okay. Over here now, we're gonna go in line and you just distribute the food accordingly and to each little rice bowl here. So come along here, let's check it out. I'm kind of still learning how this works. <laughs> in line here, okay. I'll come on. Linda's gonna explain to you exactly what we're doing here. Okay guys, let's check in with Linda here. What are we doing now? And I keep on right to my Buddha. You just take a little bit of each and you put it in each bowl here, like this. Oh, this is pretty awesome guys, I love this. Um, it's so neat to experience different faiths. Okay. It's called sticky rice. Linda's going to explain to you guys a little bit about uh, the ladies here and, and why they are wearing the white, okay? Hello guys, and uh, I want to say about an uh, old and woman and the white, I mean uh, about the same as the monk also, but uh, yeah, people will fight like that, the same as the monk, and keep the her food and take care of her, keep the food and from the monk, okay guys? Check out some of this artwork that they've got here on the ceiling and the walls. It's really phenomenal. Check this out. 
That is magical and very beautiful. There's a lot of detailed work that went into that. Uh, we're so honored to be here today. This is the Watlu Temple here in uh, Sinawa, Cambodia, and it's Kumbin holiday, so uh, a lot of people here right now, and uh, it's a very special honor to be here today. <laughs> This is amazing. I really like this. This is a um, very unique experience for any Westerner when you come to Cambodia. The Buddhist people are extremely friendly. Let's walk outside, guys, and see what we got. So one of the uh, main areas of the temple, guys, is whenever you go inside, they've got the pagoda here, which we'll show you in a second. We're actually gonna take you inside. And then over here is like the main hall where everybody goes inside and the monks gather, as we just showed you guys. But uh, let's go check out an outside glimpse here just to show you guys exactly what it looks like. So really big holiday for Cambodian people and uh, Buddhists all over the world and um, it's a great time for families to come together and uh, share their faith. As you can see many people are dressed up and uh, a lot of people are off of work. It's like a two-week holiday and uh, basically the whole country shuts down so it's pretty awesome. Hello brother. Hello. You too. <laughs> yeah some very friendly people they know English. You guys from, uh, yeah, I'm from Cambodia. Oh nice yes. yeah we make Cambodian YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very yeah. nice very nice. <laughs> all right guys. Yeah, yeah, yes. we do, yeah. yeah thank you. Uh, very friendly people, see guys? Uh, very friendly people here in Cambodia. You never will have to meet a stranger. They're always your friends here. Uh, yeah, let's go check out Linda here. She's busy doing a lot of the uh, extra work we do for Facebook on our Mahoney Travels Facebook page. If you guys get a chance, check out for daily updates on Mahoney Travels uh, Facebook. This is a real popular game that children do here at the pagodas when they're hanging out. Let's check it out, guys, and see what we got here. Maybe they can teach me a thing or two. I've been invited to play the shoe game. Let's try this out here. Everybody's got a side hustle in Cambodia, <laughs> even the children. Hello, baby. Wow, that popcorn looks delicious. Right here, guys, is where the monks stay in these housing uh, little apartments here, and this is where they spend their days. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a very solitude life, but uh, this time of year, uh, Kumbin holiday, very popular time, and Linda has found something sweet. Let's check it out. I want to buy ice cream Whoa. in the street and uh, in temple. You see, guys, not only in uh, market hub, but in uh, temple hub also ice cream, you see? Oh, delicious. Yeah. What kind of flavors we got, Bong? 
Oh my goodness. So kalat and strawberry. And is that cashew or the green? Yeah. It's delicious. Make together like cream and like a chocolate. Yes, yeah, the worry, very chilly. But uh, hair sponsor a little bit more and uh, seem rib like 5,000 rib, like $1.25. For ice cream cone. Yeah. And uh, I buy two for one, my honey trouble for me, for not my he jealous me. <laughs> if it was just for me, she'd eat mine, so. <laughs> okay, you see, guy? Wow. Make me want to eat right now. We because look like wow and chilly guy. Okay, I want to try right now. Mm. You know what? Can I say an amazing? Come on, enjoy with me, please. Come on, ice cream. Now I'm look like the baby five years old. <laughs> One of the things I like about eating here in Cambodia is everything's natural uh, there's no artificial anything no chemicals there everything's made from either rice sugar and coconut and uh, even ice cream so everything's very very authentic uh, it's not like the high calorie fattening stuff we get out west so um, very healthy lifestyle here even when you want to splurge a little bit okay it is my turn we got a gang of tuk-tuks here waiting to pass by here all right let's check it out guys wow You're very good bong yeah thank you um, it tastes like the real deal, only it's all made from cane sugar, coconut, and rice. I mean, that's the beauty about it. Mmm, delicious. I love Cambodian ice cream. Mmm. Wow. Well, the strawberry, I've never been a fan of strawberry, but now I love it. So, wow, delicious. Big mawa. Mm hmm. And a waffle cone made of the same ingredients. I mean, you, can, you can't lose here. <laughs> Some more goodies right here, guys. Check this out. Wow. There's no shortage of food here, guys. It's everywhere, and it's delicious. Uh, we appreciate you watching the channel today, and uh, we hope you guys learned a little bit of something about the pagodas here in Cambodia. And uh, they're safe, they're friendly, and we appreciate Watlu Temple for allowing us to come in a film today to show you guys how amazing Cambodia is and just how safe and friendly everybody is, and most importantly, the food is healthy. <laughs> okay, Linda? Yeah. Uh, so today I'm very really, uh, happy to come to uh, Nepuda, cook the food, come to Puda and among something like that. So and, uh, my people right now very busy about a uh, happy Pyongyang guy. So and, uh, like do like uh, 15 day, yeah, 15 day. But right now about maybe uh, eight days, seven day already. But still maybe next week and then finish and uh, next week about and. Uh, Big party and happy Pyongyang about Cambodian Khmer people not have to stay home when a big party happy Pyongyang. All the Khmer people go to and uh, cook the food, take the food, go to Mang and put uh, some like that. Okay, guys, we'll show you another video. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really pushing you guys for you always looking my YouTube, my handy travel. I will show you around in Cambodia. Thank you so much. All right, guys, until next time, safe travels from Mahoney Travels. We'll see you guys in the next video.